The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front, simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars on your monthly bill and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage and is available at Appalachian Wireless. Delivery may have been the best option for a hungry fugitive in Letcher County over the weekend. The Letcher County Sheriff's Office arrested 27-year-old Roger Miles Jr. on Saturday at Little Caesars Pizza in Whitesburg. Letcher County Sheriff Mickey Steins tells me that he was picking up pizzas for a local archery tournament when he saw Miles also go into the pizza shop. Stein says Miles is a convicted felon with active arrest warrants and he is also a suspect in a theft case Steins is currently working. Stein says he approached Miles from behind and restrained him and later arrested him with assistance from Whitesburg police. I announced myself, you know, he knew me. The workers knew me. I told him it's Mickey Steins. I think I told him he had two warrants and that I was the sheriff. He was under arrest. Once I did that, he tried to get turned around on me. I kind of knew that uh, Whitesburg City would be there any minute, so I just kind of pushed him up against the counter and in a corner, you know, just to restrain him till they got there because the, they're always safety in numbers, you know, and I didn't want anything to get out of hand for him to get hurt or for myself to get hurt. But uh, at one point during the arrest when we was at the jail, he's like, you know, you can't do this. You didn't out yourself. I didn't know who you was, but during the whole physical uh, Rass on match, he was, you know, Mickey, you can't do this. You're not in uniform. You can't make a citizen's arrest. And I informed him at the time and later at the jail that, you know, I'm elected official. I'm the sheriff. I can arrest you at any time, especially when you got a warrant. I don't have to be in uniform or anything like that. The arrest of Miles has cast a national spotlight on the Letcher County Sheriff. National news outlets, including Fox News, have picked up the story about the arrest, but Steins says despite the attention, it was all in a day's work for the Letcher County Sheriff's Office. It's funny. I mean, I, I find it amusing. That's why we, uh, you know, the pizza pizza, but it's really not funny to think that, uh, you know, we have some uh, dangerous individuals out in the public that's around us every day and the citizens, you know, they're really not aware of that. And I think that's a good thing that they're not aware of that, but that's why we're there along with other city agencies and the KSP and my office to protect the public. And I hope they see that, you know, even though there were some people make light of the situation, you know, this guy is, was a very dangerous uh, individual. You know, we had good evidence that he had at least 40 guns and had took guns off of him already. He could have had guns this day. You know, I've got a lot of people that say, well, you know, you shouldn't have confronted him in the business. Well, I couldn't leave him in the car. I couldn't let him get back in the car. He left it run and, you know, he can flee from us in a vehicle and that's much more dangerous than me and him wrestling and Little Caesar over a $5 hot and ready, you know. So when we joke about it and laugh about it, it's, it's, it's just a job to me. I don't take anything personal, but we're going to do our job. Whether I am in uniform, on duty, as they say it, I feel like as the sheriff of Letcher County, I'm always on duty. Roger Miles Jr. is facing numerous charges, including being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm and a handgun, resisting arrest, felony drug possession, and other charges. His felony conviction is relative to a 2011 indictment in which he was convicted of robbing a local business in Letcher County.